hit the incline before it closes. It shuts down for four months for repairs one week from today. Now, it's sure to be a busy weekend as people scramble to get in their last-minute hikes. But this final open weekend also falls on the same days as the Pikes Peak Ascent and Marathon, and runners are worried. New at noon, KRDO News Channel 13's Bonnie Silkman spoke with some of those athletes who are concerned for their safety. Ready, set, go! It's on the bucket list for thousands across the world. Both times that I've done it, I've been crying at the end just because it was such an emotional experience. I mean, there's joy and there's just like, I can never do that again kind of feeling. It will redefine what you call running. You definitely question your sanity as you get higher. Rising over 7,800 feet in elevation, it's the Pikes Peak Ascent and Marathon. Otherwise known as America's ultimate challenge. It's not their first ascent, but this mother and daughter say they're even more nervous for this weekend's race. Just during training, we, our whole family, have had collisions with people coming down as we're going up. Now, things are already crazy here on a normal weekend. About 2,400 people hike the incline, and most of them come down right here on Bar Trail, the same trail that all of those runners will be going up. Now, you can only imagine how many hikers will be coming out here for a last visit before the trail closes the same weekend as the big race. The trail is so narrow and skinny. You have runners coming up who can't pass, but you're trying to have other people coming down, incliners. People run into me, I fall in. I fall. So, yeah. yeah. Just so, sometimes it's shoulder to shoulder, sometimes it's literally two bodies will go down. This trail is going to be packed with 1,900 runners signed up for the ascent on Saturday and 850 for the marathon on Sunday, not to mention all of those last minute hikers. And we have people coming from 31 different countries from around the world. And I feel like if we're in, and a lot of them are elites and they're sponsored elites. And I feel if they're coming and we're inviting them, they deserve a, you know, fair race. These runners say the solution is for the parks and recs to close the incline. This Friday, on the 15th, before race weekend. That'd be the easiest solution. In Manitou Springs, Bonnie Silkman, Cardio News Channel 13. Now, spokespeople from the city of Colorado Springs tell us months ago it, they made a commitment to the community and key stakeholders that the incline would close on August 18th, and they're encouraging hikers to use it before this weekend. Now, there will also be a press conference tomorrow morning at 11 at the base of the incline to address these concerns. The heavy storms from yesterday.